Did you ever watch a tutorial and realize that the person showing stuff in that tutorial got a bit different interface, different panels and windows around, maybe even different tool layout, like in my case? So, how can you customize your interface to match your needs? And how can you fix it if you mess up something? So, I recommend you to focus on two menus at the top. One is view. And another one is window. In window, we can see all of the active studios and panels. If there's a check mark, mean I already opened this and it's somewhere around the screen, like for brushes. As you can see, I got my brushes here. I can pull them out and make them into floating panel. I can push them in back here or maybe up here. Or maybe I want to stick them to the left, just like that. So, feel free to move those panels around and you can also close them from here. If they are floating like that, you've got this X to close and they are gone. Oh my god, are they gone forever? Not really, we can always go to window, search for brushes, click on them and they are back. So that's how you can customize what we call studios. We can also call them panels because we can kind of move them like panels, like tabs in the browser, pulling them around, moving them around, reordering them. And feel free to close the one you don't use. All right. So if there's something you never use, like this navigator, pull it out, close it, gone. Maybe one day you want it back, then you go to window and you can turn it on. If you don't remember what is like the base setup for this, you can also try to reset your interface. If you head to Studio, there's option to Reset Studio. And you will get the basic setup. So the navigator is back and all of those little changes happen here already. All right, how about on the left? How about a tool panel? As you may notice, I'm using a smaller screen right now and on my laptop. So I decide to have two columns for my tools. This way I can see them all, all the time. How we can adjust that? This time we head to view. We go to the bottom and we customize tools. You will see all available tools and you can simply drag and drop the one you like. You may notice some tools that you never see like this before because some of them are like bundled together. There are many tools on one slot. But if there's some tool that you use often, you can literally drag it out and have it as extra here. It's also a separator that we can use to separate some sections. You can put this horizontal line like this. And for example, a uh, QR tool, all right, QR code tool. You can drag it out and keep it here. You don't need to open up the whole shape panel. As you notice, I got two columns active. We can go back to first one column like that, or we can have three columns if you prefer something like this. So for laptops, I kind of suggest two columns. Now I close and take a look. Now I don't need to go all the way here and search for QR code tool because I stick it again here. I got duplicate of that. For somebody that used a lot of QR codes, I guess. All right, so we got full control here. We can adjust studios on the right. We can change tools on the left. We can also modify some colors in your interface. If you head to Affinity Photo 2, you can go for settings and you will see user interface section when we can adjust those grays. So we got this backdrop gray around your image with this slider, artboard gray. There's also text contrast for the whole interface. UI brightness. So even if you're using dark mode like me, you can make it all the way up to make the dark mode a bit brighter. We can change the UI font size. In my case, I use large, mostly because I'm recording tutorials. So I keep it large. By using dark style, you can change to light mode as well. Icons, in my case, I use the colorful one that also monocolor icons are available. And 
all of that is really here and of course we can reset that to default like always let's close settings and summarize what we have learned today you can customize your interface if everything is gone like that you close some important tabs you can head to window and reset your studios go to studio and reset studios you will be back into a default setup if you press tab by mistake everything will be hidden temporary for you to kind of look at your artwork or picture that's normal just press tab again and you got your interface back on the left are our tools that we can also customize keep in mind you can adjust some colors of your interface size of the fonts and stuff like that in the general settings just search for user interface if you zoom out really far away like this you can always press command zero or you can go to view and you can zoom to fit all right i think i cover all of the most common problems with the interface in affinity photo but feel free to drop the comment below if you find something challenging maybe you switch from different app and something is not intuitive or you still struggle you don't know how to adjust some settings maybe something is gone and you don't know how to put it back here let us know we will try to help in the comment section below thank you for today and i will see you next time